Hi everyone, my name is Yi Shen and I'm a professional violinist and violin coach. Today I will be recommending three violin method books for the absolute violin beginners. Choosing the right method book is so important for the beginner violinist because the right method book is able to systematically teach you and guide you on where you should begin when you first start and from then on you could add on to what you know after you start improving. So the first book that I want to talk about is the Fiddle Time series. There are a few series of Fiddle Time books such as Fiddle Time Runners, Fiddle Time Skills. So this one is Fiddle Time Joggers and it's perfect for the absolute beginner, especially children because there are a lot of beautiful cartoons and graphics. And when you turn to the first page, it will teach you the open strings of the violin. And I think learning the open string of the violin is so essential when you're an absolute beginner because we are not ready to be pressing our fingers on the violin yet. It's more important to be able to read and identify these open string notes. We have four open strings on the violin and then learn to play with good bow and good sound first. And also they teach you different time durations such as crotchet meanings, dotted meanings, so you can learn to play with long bow, shorter bow, slow bow, faster bow, as well as rest, different duration of rest. So I thought this is a wonderful book for beginners to start with. So they like to start with pizzicato, which is plucking the string. Pizzicato is a great way to start learning violin because when we first start, we are still quite uncomfortable with holding the bow and sometimes our open string doesn't sound very good. We might touch another string when we play. So when you are able to pluck the string, you can hear it very clearly what does the G string sound like, A string, E string, all that. So this book starts by doing lots of pizzicato. And after a few pages of pure open string practices with different kind of rhythms, we start to add finger number one on the violin and then finger two when you're ready. So this is a great book especially for children. The second book that I would like to recommend for both children and adults is called A Tune A Day. A Tune A Day also starts by introducing open strings such as the G, D, A and E string and they do it by writing the letters so you get the A string, E string here. So they do it in alphabets instead of notes. And in the first few pages, they even touch on how to hold the violin. They have these images for you to show you how to hold the violin and the proper posture. So I would say fiddle time and a tune a day, they're quite similar. A tune a day is a little more serious looking because obviously there are no graphics at all. It's mostly black and white, no colours. Um, I think it's perfect for adults, but also for children who perhaps have been learning for some time already, for children who are not absolute beginners. Towards the end of this book, it even covers more advanced techniques such as slurring your bow, which is playing multiple notes in one bow. So this is slightly more advanced than the fiddle time. And the last book I would like to recommend is a very famous method book called The Suzuki Method. The Suzuki Method book also starts off by introducing the parts of the violin. After that, it shows you pictures on how you should stand and how you should hold your bow, how you should hold your violin. These images have been here since I started learning to play the violin. I remember looking at <laughs> these guys <laughs> okay and then the first piece of this Suzuki method is actually pretty advanced I would say most absolute beginners are unable to play the first piece which is the twinkle twinkle little star variation it's actually a lot more difficult than it sounds and I would say I will only pick up this book the Suzuki method after going through these two books. It makes use of a lot of fingers, all the way from finger 1 to finger 4. So you must have had some practice on your fingers before starting the Suzuki method. So I would recommend starting these two books first before advancing to the Suzuki method. I hope that introducing these method books are helpful to you in kickstarting your violin journey. 
I'll see you next time. Bye.